Happy Thursday, Brooklyn Cyclones fans. From Frawley Stadium, we get set tonight for Game 3 between the Brooklyn Cyclones and the Wilmington Blue Rocks. It's the Mets, it's the Nationals doing business at high A. Brooklyn taking on Jersey Shore, which is a team that they have dominated big time. 17-5 and head-to-head -head against Jersey Shore. I would call that domination. With Dom Savino, my name is Keith Rad. The Mets have taken two picks, but what we expected didn't quite happen. You had to leave your home, St. John's. You built that program. You built your own career from that program. How hard is it to leave? First toss. Breaking ball clobbered. Deep to left field. Out to the wall. Gone! Assassino snipes one off the light pole. It's a three-run home run. The Cyclones having a monster first inning. Brooklyn takes a 4-0 lead on Jose Mena's Bombosa in the left field. Ruger readies the 1-0. Rudick lines one in the air towards left. Battle over. Reaches up. It's over his head. Jalen Palmer around third. He scores standing up. Matt Rudick the hero. The Cyclones walk it off 3-2 and jump into first place over Hudson Valley. 1-0. Swing and a drive. Deep to left field, Ramirez to the berm, grand slam, home run. The Brooklyn Cyclones take a 9-7 lead on the back of a 19-year-old superstar, Alex Ramirez. The 1-1, line down to left field, line in the air, Murphy over to the corner, Tanner reaches out, dives and made the catch. Soaring through the sky. Tanner Murphy hauls it in. The first Cyclones to hit against the Jersey Shore. Big right-hander, Ben Brown. He's a Long Island native, so this is a nice outing for him. He'll make the start in game one. He's taking on Jose Chassin, and coming up in game two, two more good starters. Brooklyn sending Oscar Rojas, and the Phillies farm system sending out one of their best young arms, who we'll get to see later on, Mick Abel. So excited for that matchup. Well, this is a big one for Ben Brown, pitching as close to home as it gets. He is from East Setauket, New York. It's one of those names if you showed somebody from, I don't know, Buffalo or something like that. Can you pronounce this name? They may trip over it, but East Setauket is the home, and he went to Ward Melville High School. More on that in a moment. Here's Rowdy Jordan, switch hitter batting left, leading off the bottom of the first. Ben Brown, a big dude, six foot six, deals downhill. First pitch misses outside at 94 miles an hour. Something I remember from the, the old days at the Nassau Coliseum. The Islanders used to do a great game on the video board with Long Island town names. 1-0. Pitch cut on and fouled away. One ball, one strike. They'd have these players from Canada or Russia or Europe. They'd try to pronounce East to talk it or Hop Hog or Massapequa, and they'd all be tripping over all of them so <laughs> we've got East to talk it out there on the mound today here comes the 1-1 Jordan drives a liner to left field car in leaps and makes the catch in left field that liner just stayed up on him and Jordan lines out one down bottom first dangerous play for Carr in left field East to talk it by the way I just wanted to prove to you that I can say it Jared Carr coming in on the line drive might be a little bit tough with the sun coming down. The turf not going to help things for a left fielder's view, but he's able to recover and make the grab. One down, bottom of the first inning. Here's Wilmer Reyes with no score. He's a right-hand hitter. Brown deals outside for ball one. Jared Carr in left, Johan Rojas in center field. Ethan Wilson in right. But with Rojas out there, it really doesn't matter who else you have in the outfield. <laughs> he's been exceptional. High kick, the 1-0. Wilmer takes a little bit low, 96. He was looking for the knees, but Brown didn't get the call. D.J. Stewart at the hot corner. Luis Garcia, Casey Martin, shortstop in second base. Big McCarthy, Tatum at first. Nick Matera at a Rutgers doing the catching. There goes Brown, slow wind, the 2-0. And Wilmer takes outside, ball three. So again, Ward Melville High School, a place where only three pitchers and players have ever been drafted directly out of high school. And Ben Brown is one of them. The other two, old Mets. 3-0. That's high and away. So Wilmer earns just his second walk of the year. Not a guy who walks a, a whole lot. He's on. One on, one out for J.T. Schwartz. Back in 2009, the Mets in the second round went to go get Stephen Matz out of high school at Ward Melville. Of course, Matz 
Had a, a really great career with the Mets. He's off in different places now. And the other guy, Anthony Kay, who was a big Mets farmhand and actually traded to Toronto a couple of years ago. First pitch to J.T. Schwartz. Tall lefty takes down and in. One ball, no strikes. Anthony Kay was a 29th rounder out of Ward Melville. Ben Brown on the mound, a 33rd rounder. They don't even have that round anymore. No score, bottom one. Slide step, pitch. J.T., back foot slider, cuts and misses. Ball and a strike. And to even tie it further to Long Island, the guy Anthony Kay was traded for in the package deal from the Mets over to Toronto was Marcus Stroman. And Stroh went to Patchogue Medford High School out east. Ten miles away from where Ben Brown went to high school. 1-1, one, one, Schwartz spanks one on the ground to the right side. Martin dives and it kicks off his glove. Everybody is safe. Ball slowly trickled behind him and no further.